Book club time. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. Oh, you know what? We haven't had this in a while. Oh, you get fairy dust and I get fairy dust. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Amelie gets fairy dust. Okay. Do, 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 all the fairy dust. As promised, it's book club time. Okay, let's just talk about a few points from chapter one. And I would love to answer some of your questions um, along the way. Um, I so I have so this book club is uh, I don't actually know if my <laughs> comments are on YouTube yet, but I will fix that if they're not. If you can't reach me through YouTube, reach me through um, my DMs on Instagram or you can put anything you want in the comments. We can go from there. But I just wanted to read this. Okay, this is why we want to give up codependency. I saw people who constantly gave to others but didn't know how to receive. Boom. I saw people give until they were angry, exhausted, emptied of everything. Boom. I even saw one woman give and suffer so much that she died of old age and natural causes at age 33. No, 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 no. Uh, she forgot to live. She forgot to live her life. And that is one of the reasons we don't want to be codependent because living with the addiction to relationships and, um, uh, Pathological giving is uh, not living. That's not living a life. That's not being your true self. That's being something else. And so that's why we want to, to not participate in codependency. Oh, this is from the introduction, by the way. And this is page five. Uh, okay, soon I began to subscribe to some new beliefs about codependency. Codependents aren't sicker or crazier than alcoholics, but they hurt as much or much more I disagree I think they are as crazy or sick as alcoholics like they they don't have the same um, you know they don't have the same physical consequences from alcohol but they do have physical consequences just as we saw by the lady who died at age 33 like um, I always conceptualize because I've had this um, understanding about codependency I've heard that word since my late teens and my because my grandmother was in recovery and so we um i mean she didn't stay sober <laughs> bless her heart oh i wish i could have gotten to know her um she didn't say stay sober but my mom was educated on being an adult child of alcoholic and so um that's how and so i used to think like codependents were better like Oh, you know, oh, the alcoholic, oh, 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 and now I'm coming around to a crazy idea that we might be worse. I actually am finding that codependency, because if, if alcoholics drugs are alcohol and drug addicts drugs are drugs and food addicts food ad addiction is food, they're abusing themselves with those things. So they're abusing themselves with a substance. But codependents, and lucky me, I get to be both addict and codependent, but codependents are using another person. And that's fucked up. So that's how I say it's kind of worse. Like, we shouldn't be using other people to, as our substance. Like, that's not, that's not great. So we don't want to do that. But I, okay, page 15. But I was beginning to wonder. He had been sober for six months. Okay, this is Jessica's story. Oh, Jessica. And again, I am just so grateful. I mean, what, a, what, a, what an amazing person to be able to put her story out. Like, this is incredible. So I, um, I, I mean no disrespect because I am so grateful because Jessica is helping us learn. So she was truly thinking that her husband was the problem. And then, um, then he got sober. And then she writes, uh, he was getting better, but I wasn't. Okay, that's the trick. 
that 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 that's a big eye opener when someone else is getting better because they are lifting their substance abuse we're we're still looked at as a person so um so far his sobriety didn't appear to be changing the way i felt and that's how we know that's another hallmark of codependency like even when they do the thing we finally want them to do, the thing that we've been fussing at them the whole time, you should stop drinking, you should stop binging or purging, you should stop starving yourself, you should stop gambling, you should When they finally do it, we're still not okay. We're still not okay. So that is another reason why we do not want to be codependent. At 32, so the other lady died at 33. At 32, she felt dried up, used up, brittle. See, that's no, again, that's somebody that's not living. Like, we want a life. We want to get through this lifetime with a fucking life. That's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for it. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just read. One month later, I began to suspect that I would soon learn was the truth. By then, the only thing that had changed was I felt worse. Okay, look at that. She didn't just feel the same. She felt worse when the person was in recovery. I have been there, believe me. My life had ground to a halt. I wanted it to end. I had no hope that things would get better. I didn't even know what was wrong. I had no purpose except to care for other people. That's another sign of not having a life. That's no life. That's something else. That's dysfunction. That's toxicity. Again, no disrespect to her. She is a hero. She was our hero, uh, as Danny Pellegrino would say. She's a <laughs> queen icon legend. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Melody. Um, I was stuck in the past and terrified of the future. God seemed to have abandoned me. I felt guilty all the time, and I wondered if I was going crazy. Something dreadful, something I couldn't explain, had happened to me. It snuck on me and ruined my life. Somehow I had been affected by his drinking and the ways I had been affected had become my problem. It no, ma it no longer mattered to me whose fault it was. I had lost control. The one thing that doesn't resonate with me from that, th that piece, of course, this was written a gazillion years ago, so I'm sure she has evolved as well, but the illusion is that these problems begin Gan because of this marriage. But I guarantee you, if we just take a peek in the past, we will see that she learned how to be a codependent in childhood. Like that, sh that and that she was looking, her psyche, her inner saboteur, her inner codependent saboteur was looking for somebody like one of her parents or somebody very close to her. Uh, it was looking the whole time and found this alcoholic and then she could blame all the problems on the alcoholic but the but that shit starts in childhood one doesn't automatically become codependent um, after being with an alcoholic because people who aren't codependent don't end up with alcoholics because we attract each other at our level of mental health and so uh, if you you go, you know, we don't get to say as codependents, although we would like to, because we truly, one of the, the, again, for me, the hallmarks of codependency is like, I'm great. That person's fucking crazy. Oh my God. It's, uh, it's kind of gaslighty. That's terrible. Like, that's why I, that's what I'm saying is like, the more that I get in recovery from my food, the more I realize like all that toxic behavior that I was participating in and the thoughts that I were, was thinking weren't healthy. So for me to think that this, somebody else's problem is terrible, but mine isn't, that, that's, that's gaslighty. <laughs> like that's the other person's crazy, not me. What, who, me, don't look, don't look. So, and that is why number one on the advanced Bigifesto is I can't remember, I, switch, I kept switching these two because I didn't know which one was more important. They're both equally important. But one is that we heal our uh, childhood, any childhood trauma, like that, we gotta heal that. And number two is we heal our addictions. And so these things are so pervasive, they take top two, that we've got to figure out how to live without them. And uh, we want to 
again, thank you, Jessica. Um, but yeah, so that, that was it. Just, just that, that this, again, a codependent would not ever, I mean, somebody who was not codependent, somebody that was healthy would not be with an alcoholic because they wouldn't, the, the, the consequences of being with an alcoholic and somebody not present and somebody checked out wouldn't resonate, was it, wouldn't resonate with, um, a healthy person that wasn't codependent. So I hope that was helpful. And next Monday we'll do chapter two. Okay. Ask me any questions. DM me, DM me on Instagram or you can comment below. Okay. Love.